The real you is impeccable. I'm Ambassador Larry Huggins, and I am here to prove to you by the Word of God that the real you is impeccable. That is to say, beyond blame, beyond criticism, and beyond fault-finding, the real you is beyond blame. Now, before you turn me off, listen to what Ephesians 4.1 says. He hath chosen us. He's chosen you and me in him before the worlds were formed, that we should stand before him holy and without blame in love or in Christ. We should stand before him (laughs) blameless in Christ, without criticism in Christ, beyond fault finding in Christ. That's the word of God. Let me ask you a question. Whose opinion of you counts the most? Does the, does the devil's opinion count more than God's opinion? Absolutely not. His opinion doesn't count at all, and you shouldn't be paying attention to him. Don't elevate the devil's opinion higher than God's opinion. That's blasphemous. And what about the devil's minions? You know, a lot of people are doing the work of the devil and they don't even know it. But those who accuse you and tear you down and pick at you and try to undermine your faith, they're not doing God's work. That's the devil's work. He is the accuser of the brethren. Well, let me tell you something. No one has a right to accuse you because they didn't choose you. If they didn't choose you, they can't accuse you. Who chose you? God did. Did the devil choose you? No. He can't accuse you. Did your friends, family, enemies choose you? No, they didn't. Well, they can't accuse you either. If God is for you, no one can be against you. He has made you accepted in the beloved, and he did that before time began, before the creation of the world, before he created the earth, the sea, the moon, the stars. He created you, or chose you rather, to be in Christ blameless, beyond blame. Before Calvary, he chose you. Before Pentecost, he chose you. Before you were born again, he chose you. Before you were born, he chose you to be in Christ blameless before him in love. Praise God. If the devil's going to find fault with you, he'll have to find fault with Jesus because your life is hid with Christ in God. He'll have to go through Jesus to get to you. And that's not going to happen. The devil is not going to penetrate Jesus, but you have penetrated Jesus. You're on the inside of him and he's protecting you and surrounding you. No one can find fault with you unless they find fault with Jesus and there is no fault in him. Come on. You just need to celebrate who you are in Christ and realize that his opinion matters more than anyone else's opinions. Am I saying people are not going to accuse you and not find fault with you? People are going to do what people are going to do, but it's not going to hurt you because you are blameless. You are outside of blame. How does that happen? How does that work? Well, does God accept Jesus? Yes, he does. Therefore, he accepts you. In fact, you and I have no ability to stand before God blameless outside of Christ. It's not going to happen. No human being can stand before God blameless outside of Christ. The best person on earth cannot stand before God blameless outside of Jesus Christ. The only way to get to God is through Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, the the holiest, best Muslim on earth cannot stand in the presence of God outside of Jesus Christ. The best Buddhist, peace-loving, kind, (laughs) non-materialistic, meditating, fasting, day and night Buddhist cannot stand in the presence of God outside of Jesus Christ. No flesh shall glory in the presence of God. The only the only access we have to the Father is through Jesus. So the kindest, best, most moral person on earth has no ability to stand before God outside of Jesus Christ. Now, if you can receive this, it's a little hard to receive, but you and I really have no relationship with God outside of Jesus Christ. Our relationship with the Father is based entirely upon our relationship with Jesus. And because we are in Christ and he is in relationship with the Father, therefore we are in relationship with the Father, but we have no relationship with the Father outside of Jesus. But thank God, We are in Jesus, and that puts us in right relationship. We are now in right relationship. We are the righteousness of God in Christ. We are celebrating who we are in Christ, what we have in Christ, what we can do through our relationship with Christ. This is simple, it's profound, but it's hard for people to wrap their brains around. Religion has messed people up. Religion keeps reminding people of their shortcomings and their failures. Listen, God didn't say we had no failures. In fact, he sent Jesus to fix that problem. 
God said we're blameless. There's a difference between being blameless and having faults. Human beings have faults. There's no one that doesn't have a fault. But because we're in Christ, no one can find fault with us. They can't accuse us because they didn't choose us. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> I mean, it is, it's what I call God's algebra. It is so simple and profound. People, people miss it because they're looking for types and shadows and mysteries and hidden meanings and symbolism. No, no, no. This is literal. You are a new creature in Christ. There's no symbology there. You can do all things through Christ. There's no hidden meaning there. It's literal. And you are seated in the heavenlies in Christ. And you are blameless before him in Christ. You are, you said it, impeccable. Say it again. Say, I'm impeccable. Say it again. I'm impeccable. I'm impeccable. <laughs> I love the sound of that word. Well, yes, you are. Well, listen, if you love this teaching, stick with it, because here's the way it happens. First time you hear it, you may not get it. In fact, the tenth time you hear it, you may not get it. I've been teaching this stuff to some people for a long time, and, and it seems like they can't get it. They, their minds keep going back to some religious system, and we need to get delivered from that uh, do's and don'ts. And, you know, we, we're justified because we did this. No, you know, all that stuff, Just it's, it's impossible to live under. Just know this, that you were made accepted in the beloved. It's not what you did. It's what Christ did for you. And you keep listening to me, you'll get it. You'll start getting it. One day it'll just, your brain will explode and you'll say, bless God, I am blameless. Let people criticize if they want to, but God finds no fault with me because I'm in Christ. I know I'm repeating myself, but that's what I do because I really want you to get this. And uh, I'm going to be putting it out here every week. So you keep feeding on it. And as you do, you'll start living the good life. And if you want to get even more, we'll become my partner because Jesus said he who receives a prophet because he is a prophet gets the prophet's reward. So uh, visit my website right now and get hooked in.